Today is the 26th anniversary of the recognition of World Press Freedom Day and the Trinidad and Tobago Publishers and Broadcasters Association is seeking to correct some facts about our placement on the World Press Freedom Index. More from Mary Therese Bernard. A release from the Trinidad and Tobago Publishers and Broadcasters Association notes that it has had to answer questions over the past week on why Trinidad and Tobago has dropped five spots to the 39th rank in the current Reporters Without Borders Index on press freedom. The index took note of a physical attack on a photojournalist as he attempted to take photos of the compound of a private oil company. They also noted that legislation such as the cybercrime and data protection bills pose problems for media practitioners. The TTPBA, however, says the article fails to note that TNT enjoys a fairly free press. The TTPBA makes the point that there have been no fatalities as in other jurisdictions. The organization is assuring that it will continue to work with the regional and foreign partners, Media Institute of the Caribbean, MIC, the Association of Caribbean Media Workers, ACM, International Press Institute, IPI, IFEX, and Article 19 to ensure consistency and a strong united front. The TTPBA says Trinidad and Tobago may not be as high on the index as Jamaica, who are currently positioned as sixth, but reminds reporters and journalists that if they continue to hone their craft, train and assist each other, the pen and voice will always persevere. And the Media Association of Trinidad and Tobago is renewing the call for further consultation on the cybercrime bill and similar legislation which have the potential to criminalize journalists. A statement from Matt, while extending best regards to all media practitioners, sought to highlight significant incidents what that took place within the local landscape surrounding press freedom, credibility, and social media commentary. It notes this country's drop of five spaces on the 2018 World Press Freedom Index to position 39 out of 180 countries. Matt says the reporters without borders attributed to the, to the negative effect on the freedom of the press and freedom of expression on the Internet that proposed legislation such as the Cybercrime Bill, the Whistleblower Protection Act, the Data Protection Act, and the new broadcast code would have. We will have more on this in a subsequent newscast. 